What up, world? It's your boy Jeff, aka Cool Boy Jeff, right here. This is the only place you can find a wave. It's the wave 804. This is a legendary moment right here between me and this great of a human being, artistic arts and crafts, put stuff together. The one that was using machines back in the Belgian building just to create her own clothing. Lee, I want to tell you, I'm very proud of you and your success and everything that you continue to do worldwide. We just don't speak it. Hey, you already did it already worldwide and what you're doing now to see that you wearing your clothing, like just so fresh, like, you know what I'm saying? The energy, you know what I'm saying? And also my sister has to get back on the road to get home so she can start planning for a lot of stuff, which we're going to get into. But I just want to give you your flowers before we started the interview. You know what I'm saying? All is love, man. Appreciate Continue it, man. to do what you're doing and keep God first as always. But go ahead and introduce yourself. You know what I'm saying? Hi, um, my name is Lee. Mm -hmm. People normally call me Santiago. They don't know my name is Lee. Mm -hmm. um, I reside in Philly. Right now we're in Richmond, Virginia, where it all started. The mm -hmm. whole brand, like, and Belgian theater, like you said, like just screen printing out the out the crib from here, and just passing out T-shirts on campus, and then now having my clothes in two different stores in two different states. Mm -hmm. Like, and still inspiring, and still doing what I said I was gonna do. Like, mm -hmm. that's that's who I am. I got you. So look, let's tell me a little bit about the brand, and then we're gonna start moving to the questions on what are you doing out here in Virginia? You know what I'm saying? You over here working or whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you elaborate on that. Right now, just doing like a pre tour. We have a pop up tour coming up, which is our second one. Mm -hmm. So basically, we just get a U haul and go state to state and just hustle out the truck. You heard like. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm just passing out T-shirts on campus, passing out flyers, just trying to promote it. Get people to come out that way the other vendors that we have to share the platform with you know can utilize the whole pop-up tour mm -hmm. in a positive way so we, right now i'm just out here putting in that footwork mm -hmm. just like 2016 handing mm -hmm. out t-shirts and flyers like right now i got you so give me a little something about the tour then uh so the tour is may 18th through the 26th okay we're going to be here in new york Atlantic City, Philly, Baltimore, Richmond, okay. Atlanta, and Houston. We just going to drive to each state and pop up, get some music going, get some vendors out there, have a good time, like, and sell some merch. Okay. That's a bet. So is this tour, um, do they still have slots for people who want to be a part of the tour? Yeah, the slots are available. All you have to do is DM me. The Instagram will be available. Um, we want all vendors to come out. Mm -hmm. You can come to each state, or if you just want to come to one state, it's vending fees, but you know it's still opportunity that you'll be able to make and be a part of the tour. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. So, with you asking vendors to be a part of the uh, the great event that you're having, um, is there specifics, or you don't, or the guys don't really mind of who want to be able to join in that? Whatever. Okay. You can. Last year we had Olympia's Canvas. Mm -hmm. She has face soap. She does makeup. She's an MUA. We had her out there selling her product. We had Nas Potion. She mm -hmm. She sells drinks. Um, who else we had? We had Proven Radiant. He has clothes. Mm -hmm. um, we had all different types of brands. We had artists out there with their paintings. Like we, anybody's welcome that wants to be a part of it. Any business, anything, any mm -hmm. artist, any creative person. Got you. So I want to ask you something. What makes you go so hard? Because again, you know, when you talked about, you know, you coming down here, you came on VU campus, you know, said so we're gonna big it up one time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you came out here, you was passing flyers, meeting with a lot of people out here, and then you're on your way back to the hometown. What in that mindset that you had to really break down that, hey, I need to get this done piece by piece, even if I had to go out there myself and get it done? You know, what type of energy did you have to put forward to actually get all that stuff taken care of? Man, a lot. Hmm. You got to have a right mind frame, like a right mindset sometimes. Like, sometimes you may not feel like taking that, that bus ride or that train ride, mm -hmm. but... You got to have that fire inside you, like, I got to do this mm -hmm. to get this done. I can't rely on nobody else. 
So you just gotta have that will, like, I just had the will, like, I gotta get this done. So if I only get two hours of sleep, it's two hours of sleep, then I'm up, going on the train, holding up a state, doing what I have to do, going back. Mm -hmm. And doing that is satisfying, like, all right, I accomplished what I had to get done. So I crossed every T and dotted all my I's. So if something does happen, I know I gave 100%. Mm -hmm. And I know, you know, life gonna try to knock it down. It's just how life go. But if I know I did everything to prepare, then I'm, I'm all right with that. I'll mm -hmm. just adjust. So it just gotta have that will, like that fire inside you. Like, I gotta do this. This is what I gotta do to get where I wanna go and get what I need to get done. Mm -hmm. I feel it, man. I, that, like it's that passion mm -hmm. that keeps you going. And then I don't think a lot of people understand it unless you've been chasing something for so long that starts from nothing. And then once you start to see some dust kick up a little bit and turns into a hurricane, it starts to blow all over. You know, if if people can decipher what I just said there, start from nothing, kick up dust, and then can made a whole hurricane out of it. You know, and what that like Santiago has been going through different places. Where have your brand, uh, special cities or states that you want to share light on that was able to showcase your brand? Definitely Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. You know, Miles, they got Swaps AC out there. Mm -hmm. You know, they just show so much love in, in the city. Like, like Atlantic City shows so much love. And then Houston, they just opened another store in Houston, Swaps Houston. So we got Santiago out there and like, they just, the people out there just so, so much love for the brand, like, mm -hmm. that they just fuck with it, like. So Houston, Atlantic City, definitely Richmond all the time, like, they always show love, like, we get love all over, for real, for real. Mm -hmm. The same, same areas I, I step foot in, like, or did something then. Even on the West Coast, we get some love too. Like, I remember somebody hit me up, like, yo, I seen your socks. And show me a picture. I'm like, oh, snap. Like, yeah, that's all on the West Coast. So, yeah, we get love all over. You'd be surprised, like, who, who's watching and what states. Mm hmm. I see you, man. You was everywhere. Um, uh, I want to make sure I say this done right, but didn't Waka Flocka had a piece of your apparel as well? Yeah. Ah, that they, was fire as nah, well. Nah, my man's Benny, he, he threw me the oop on that one. Mm -hmm. Threw me the oop and set that up for me. And, Shout um, out to Benny for yeah, that one. facts. Jokes up. Roger Rabbit. <laughs> uh, you know, you know. Uh, you don't, you should, but he, he threw the oop on that one, you know. He, um, he had his own brand, strand of, of weed. And he's personally connected to Walker, so okay. Um, he's like, yo, my 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 man, she got a brand. He was just like pull up, so it wouldn't happen without Benny. Yeah. So he threw the, you know, it's all about who you know and uh, who you show love to. Yeah. And always show love back. So that's what that was, the the friendship. That's what's up. Uh, shout out to Benny. Yeah, that that friendship got me the um that opportunity. Yeah, and then it's gonna be kind of harder now as far as uh when you well I, I say back in the day for us it was able what well, was I I say it was easier then for us to build relationships as of now that a lot of people take the whole social media thing and so I try to fill a person out from there yeah. instead of actually get to know them but as far as you stating that and then the, one more time shout out to Benny how important is it for networking because honestly if you never met Benny. To begin with, a lot of things probably wouldn't happen as far as like somebody being there for you, yeah. making sure that they look yes. out for you. Cause real, cause I ain't gonna uh, the people water it down when it comes to realness or real shit. But I think if it's it's not what's on you, it's within you. Yeah. And if they show that, like that's the one you really need to stick with. But my question is, how important is it of networking? It's very important. Like I was just explaining to somebody, like I can go to certain states. And I know I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Whether I need somewhere to stay, whether food, I know I'm okay in those states. And that's just by me knowing people. Mm -hmm. So I can move 
how I need to move and make the moves I need to make. Be here in this state one day and go to this state the next day. That's mm-hmm. networking. And then also building relationships that can open other doors. Mm-hmm. Like just off of a friendship. Like somebody might know somebody and mention my name or whoever's name in a room. Like, yeah, lead us X, Y, and Z. Let me show you her work. Mm-hmm. Then that's a another opportunity. It's networking, like so networking is important. It's it's more than money. Mm-hmm. Like the money always gonna be there, but the relationship is gonna be able to hold your character mm-hmm. up high. Like it's gonna be able to tell who you are before you enter a room. Mm-hmm. Like so networking is like the number one thing that's important. I got you. Before you go, I got two more things. <laughs> uh, shoot, talk about uh, the clothing that you got coming out. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's special coming out in 2022? So, I'm doing something special for the pop up tour. I went, um, it's just like a regular classic type vibe. Like, I don't know, the mood I'm in is just grungy. Mm-hmm. If, if you know art, you could understand that. So, like, the new tees is just gonna be simple but big statements. Mm-hmm. Very so, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna be creating all of them just like before. Like I'm gonna be screen printing every single tee mm-hmm. and selling them, and then doing every single hat. Like just doing it how I started. So it's just gonna be special. The whole collection, the whole project, just because I'm hands on, so hands on with this one. Mm-hmm. So I don't wanna give too much away, but. Hey, you ain't got to get no more sauce. <laughs> you don't have to get no more sauce. You all right. It's already in the works. <laughs> Last but not least, let everybody know where they can follow you on all social media platforms. Follow me at yo Santiago underscore underscore on all platforms. Mm-hmm. Twitter, Instagram. That's all that I'm on. And go get that damn merch, too. Word. Go get that damn merch. Word. That's some fire merch. The way they were Yeah, I almost blew some money on that job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I almost came up crazy. But yo, please go get the merch that joints is fire. Go ahead and get it before I do, because if I get it, I ain't gonna have nothing. That's a fact. Uh, you know, as long as you got something in the medium, we all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to bring my knees out this year with the shorts, everything, with Where? the hats. We gonna have that, we gonna have that you know what I'm saying? The glasses and all. She does, you know what I'm saying? She does it all. But look, man, she has a whole thing she gotta take care of tonight, man. She about to be back in the town in a little bit. But you know, since shout out to Lee, man. Santiago, the brand. Go ahead, go get that. Cool boy, you have to wave it a four, man. Y'all stay blessed. Be out.